Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Friday, December 15th. Looked at another morning of widespread dense freezing fog with decreasing in coverage for the weekend. But beyond that, we're looking at our next system arriving for the early part of next week. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Keyboards we're going to focus on today, high pressure will continue to remain overhead. What that means for us is some areas of dense fog, particularly this morning with some lesser coverage heading into this afternoon and the weekend. Temperatures will see a warming trend as well as we head through the weekend into early next week. Above normal high temperatures, again in those 30s and 40s, maybe pushing 50 around the Magic Valley with some potential record highs as you head up into the Stanley Basin starting Sunday. Precipitation chances will return for next week. Again, light amounts at this time, nothing significant as of the latest guidance, but certainly keeping an eye on some slight chances for some showers returning for your early part of next week. Quick look at satellite for you this morning, again, shown here in those brighter colors, shows us where that large fog bank and low stratus is hanging out right now, Snake Plain, Magic Valley primarily, and across several of our mountain valleys. But overall, we are expecting that to erode later today, so we've been kind of in the clouds, especially if you've been along the I-15 corridor, it's been mostly just nothing but clouds. Uh, but we should be seeing some improvement uh, later today and through the weekend, so if you're looking for some sunshine, you should see some breaks in the clouds later today. A look at the bigger picture for you is again high pressure ridge in control. We are seeing a low working up the coast there, uh, bringing some moisture into western Canada. But overall, seeing some mid and upper level clouds begin to filter in over top this ridge feature. Not expecting any precipitation out of this outside of some isolated flurries with some of the low stratus and fog out there this morning. But overall, should see some increase in clouds building in later today into tonight, helping to reduce the aerial coverage of that fog. Weather has got look for your next five days. We'll just focus on some areas of widespread dense freezing fog this morning. Should see some improvements by this afternoon and evening hours. But heading into tonight, just some patchy dense fog potential, but less in coverage than we've seen the past several days. Our next system will arrive for the Monday, Tuesday time frame. Later in the day, Monday at this point, with just a slight chance for some rain and snow showers. Temperatures today are starting off the day on the cooler side of things, teens and 20s in the morning, but afternoon highs, 30s and 40s, just about where they've been the last several days. Should be helping to increase some of these temperatures if we can have that low stratus and fog erode. Some places that have stayed completely socked in have been much colder than expected. So hoping to get some more sunshine out there for you guys today, keeping those temperatures in those 30s and 40s. And by Saturday, not a whole lot of change there. Cool morning, afternoon highs in the 30s to mid 40s. And Sunday, that's going to be the first day where we're starting to flirt with some potential record high temperatures up around the Stanley Basin. And a cool morning for your Sunday. Afternoon highs widespread now in the 30s to mid 40s. And for Monday, we'll keep that warming trend going. So afternoon highs on your Monday are going to be on the warmer side of things. 40s across the board. Coldest areas in the upper 30s. But afternoon highs keeping with that near normal, uh, near and record chance up towards Stanley. And for Tuesday, temperatures will be increasing as we have that system coming through. So it should be a warm morning on Tuesday, uh, 20s and 30s across the board with afternoon highs, comfortable in those 30s and 40s. And to look at what's to come again, six to 10 day precipitation outlook does keep us in between so that near normal to leaning below normal chances with the best chances for that more impactful moisture remaining south and west of our area. And we were talking about warmer temperatures. It's gonna be the going trend in the six to 10 day outlook across all of the West. 8 to 14, not a whole lot of change here. Again, keeping an eye on those near normal chances for precipitation. Heading to the 22nd through 28th time frame, those higher, more leaning above normal chances for precipitation. Heading further south with some drier conditions to our north. And 8 to 14, not a whole lot of change there. Should keep temperatures mild, cool mornings, followed by afternoon highs in those 30s and 40s. And that's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome Friday and stay safe out there.